Hey, what's going on guys? It is Lasty here and welcome to another episode of our FIFA 15 Heroes and Villains series. Today we're looking at another hero and that hero is Yaya Torre. First off, if you guys are looking to buy Ultimate Team Coins, check out the FIFA shop.co.uk. Uh, use the code LA5TY, that'll get you 5% discount and the link you need is down below in the description. So Yaya Torre is our fourth hero of this series. He's got an 86 rated card this year, uh, which has 76 pace, 79 dribbling, 82 shooting, 81 passing, 80 defending, and 90 physical. He's six foot two with medium medium work rates, which is an improvement on last year because he used to have medium high work rates, uh, which would put me off playing him slightly further up the field. Now you can get away with it. Um, he gets forward just as much as he gets back. And that, my friends, is a good combination. Uh, my, my Twitter is uh, scrolling along at the bottom right there if you guys don't already follow me. Come follow me over there and suggest some new heroes and villains for us to use in this series. Z uh, not Zlatan. Yaya Toure is going to cost you uh, somewhere up to around 200,000 coins. That's a lot of coinage for this man. But then again, when you look at the stats, the rating, the height, the skills, the weak foot, I think it all just about justifies itself. He is an absolute beast on this game. This is the sort of team that I was using him, uh, him around. I actually played him in a center forward position in a false nine. Uh, and then I also played him as a cam in a 4-3-1-2 in my um, three tier squad builder yesterday. So if you haven't seen that, check that out as well. This is a great little sort of three league squad. Really nice uh, nice players in that but make sure you leave your comments down below guys as to who you think the next hero should be in this series let's get on to Yaya's in-game stats he's got 86 aggression he's got 85 vision 85 reactions 93 stamina, 92 strength is one of the best stats that he's got on here. 83 ball control for someone that big is awesome. He's got great free kick stats, amazing long shots and passing, uh, incredible, well, incredible shot power, uh, incredible short passing, long passing, all of it. Is just phenomenal. Uh, really, really solid stats. Loads and loads of greens in there, which uh, really adds to why he's such an amazing player on this game. He's good on both feet, and of course, he has the strength test speciality and the long shot taker trait. And I'll show you some of those in game right now. Let's have a look at the clips that we actually got with this guy. Uh, he scored that very, very dodgy goal there, and I don't think he even meant to touch it, but it went under the keeper, uh, and it just, you know, well, fair enough it's gonna go in he's also my set piece specialist he is a penalty taker he is a free kick taker as you'll see uh, but those two penalties were dispatched nice and easily lovely dummy right there in the 94th minute of that game to win us it 4-3 thank god for that and then we get through again look at how tight his dribbling is for such a big man the ltrt dribbles with this guy work nicely but so does the um i guess you could call it like um I don't know what you could call it, like pro dribbling or something like that, like power dribbling, where you absolutely run through and you don't let off the, the sprint button, you just change direction. He's incredible at that because he's got such, he just strides with those big old feet of his uh, and those long old legs as well. And then Royce playing a lovely through ball here to Yaya. This is what he's good at, winning the ball with strength and then just finishing it into the back of the net. Solid finish from a solid player, but take a look at this goal right here, but Bam. That is an absolute beauty of a long shot free kick. Don't give him that sort of space because that is exactly what he will do to you. Over and under that wall, or over the wall, under the bar, and the keeper was getting nowhere near it. Just such a beautiful goal, and that's one of the best things about him, as well as being, uh, he's versatile, you know. He's going to be set pieces, you know, set piece taker for you. He's going to be uh, someone you could play as a defensive midfielder. That is a Freaking beautiful strike, by the way. What a goal from Yaya to end off his little goal section of the video. Really, really nice goal. Um, but he's gonna he's versatile, as I'm saying. Like He's going to be able to play defensively for you if you want. And you can push him all the way up to a centre-forward role too, which is just manic. Like the, the amount of different positions and teams that you could put this guy in, it's crazy. You know, He really does fit the bill for a hero on this game because he's so high-rated and so 
desirable to a lot of people. Um, that is one of the that's that's the main reason which puts him into that club. And uh, also the fact that he got nine goals and six assists in nine games is pretty crazy. You wouldn't normally expect to score that with someone like Yaya, and for him to do that for me is awesome. That's why he's a hero here on FIFA 15 Ultimate Team. If you've enjoyed the video, guys, please do smash a like. Let me know down below in the comments who the next episode should be around. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you next time. Peace.